permanence. I think this is a real artist problem because it's one word with two meanings. And it's the worst kind of one word with two meanings. It's the kind that's spelled the same. Like, you've got other words with two meanings that might be spelled differently, like pear, uh, I, I don't know, what's another, bear, you know, two meanings. Or you get the words that have one, uh, one spelling, like mouse or coke, leads to really awkward parties. So, what happens? I'll give you a little example. Are you ready? I am. I have my little bass here, and I've decided that I want to color it in. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to have a little blue bass. And let's see. Let's see. We'll come in here and start to put some... What the heck's going on? What the hell's going on? Is it, is it the pen? Is it the paint? What's happening is my pen's coming up. But it was a permanent pen. It said permanent on the pen. I thought that that meant that my, oh, it's a hot mess. What is an artist to do? What is anybody to do, really? We're all, we're all just so vulnerable here. We got to understand that there are two meanings to the word permanent, okay? And even, even products that, uh, with the best intentions, uh, say permanent, you have to know whether or not they are actually permanent in the definition of light fast or water fast or waterproof, okay? There's, there's two sides to that permanence coin. And sometimes, I, I would like to say more times than less, it's, it's described for you pretty easily. But I will tell you right here, um, I remember going to our store a few years ago, and aqua cover is basically like white out for watercolor paper. And right on the jar, permanent. So I went into our store and I saw a big sign next to our aqua cover that said, sorry folks, aqua cover is not permanent. What? Okay, so aqua cover is permanent in the fact that it does not yellow over time, but it's not permanent in the fact that it will re-wet once it's dry. All right. That's just something that you need to keep in mind. Now, when it comes to light fastness, I don't want to get into a whole big spiel about it, but basically what light fastness is, you can, you can look it up, but just to give you a little bit, pigments are rated from uh, ASTM, which is the American Society for Testing Materials and other various things. Pigments rated, I think it's one to, one to five. Here, why am I messing around? And ASTM rated pigments one and two are considered light fast for permanent, uh, for artist use, meaning they are going to be more archival, they won't fade over time, and the pigments that are rated three, four, five, um, those have a chance of uh, fading easier. Um, keeping art out of direct sunlight when it's framed and hung is always a good practice. We're making sure it's behind a, a good glass or varnish with UV protection. There's options, but that's not what this video is about. Okay. Uh, there's also the British standard, which they abbreviate to BS rating, um, which is just unfortunate. Uh, and that goes from one to eight, so I guess that's a little bit more detailed, kind of like Celsius. There's, there's like, more, no, Fahrenheit has more detail. I'm sure Kelvin's really the way to go, but we're not here to talk about science. No, we're here to talk about permanence and wrap this up because at the end of the day, you want to make sure that your material is permanent in the way that you want it to be. Now, most likely if you're doing art, you want the permanent light fast definition, but let me show you here on this other fishy. When you have the right materials, Look at that. Stays down, stays blue. See that? I'm just getting blue. It's not picking up any of that, that ink. That's waterproof. Okay? If you bring up water resistance to me, I'm going to bop you on the head. Okay? It, it's another shade of gray. But look, the bottom line is, for the majority of people out there, this is an artist problem. Permanence has two meanings. So what do you do? Okay? Ask, research, or test. We're, we're artists here. We're supposed to be experimenters by nature. We're supposed to be tooling around, toying around. Okay? Most things are clear. I'm going I'm to try to fill in the, the grayer areas. Okay? Biggest thing are like markers and inks. Inks, really, anything that ink can go into a pen, a marker. Inks are really going to be the one where you're going to have to really do your best to understand when they say permanent if they mean waterproof. Watercolor is not permanent. It ain't going to be if it's watercolor. It's water soluble by definition. 
Acrylic is water soluble when it's wet, but once it's dry, it should dry permanent. Oil paint, it's oil, water doesn't mix. So know your materials before you wind up with the fate of this little bass over here. I'm gonna die alone. That's it. Okay, I was gonna try to make it look like I accidentally spilled this water on this rose, but I realized that that's not what this is about. This is about being real, okay? Watercolor pencil. Now it's drippy art. When bits go wrong, gets real. And that's what this is all about. I deflowered it. <laughs>